Thank you very much everybody for coming along to the Action on Site Health event for 2022. It's great that we can be back to business, actually meeting face to face. I think we're all very excited about this event. The power of networking and putting practice to theory. So today we're at uh, BMA House um, in London uh, at the RVT event on Action on Site Health. We're here to raise awareness of um, the various different site hazards, albeit mental health, muscular skeletal diseases, respiratory health, um, lots of different site hazards. We're hoping that it won't only raise awareness, but also um, there's going to be some changes made in the industry. It's a journey, and, and there's nothing wrong with being at the start of the journey, but taking that shared good practice and seeing if we can filter that into each of our environments we will be much better off as a result. The people we're listening to today are largely from within the industry, either working in occupational health and occupational hygiene or uh, health and safety managers on construction sites, so they've got a first-hand experience of what work is like on site and the problems that you come across. What can we do today? What can we change in the way we approach control of these respiratory hazards that's going to make a difference? I think we've kind of lost a bit of momentum um, during the pandemic, not only because we've not had the opportunity to collaborate um, and engage in, in forums like this, um, but also our standards of, of risk management and control have been so focused on our kind of public health risk. So this has really, I think, provided a real uh, opportunity for renewed vigour, renewed momentum and uh, getting back to basics. You don't have to be anybody fantastic to be part of the Health and Construction Leadership Group. You just have to be committed, want to do the right thing for the industry and be prepared to put a bit of time and effort in either within your own businesses but ideally for the industry as a whole. We've all had a tough time through COVID. I think the construction industry's done very well keeping business going, but there's nothing like meeting in person, the ability to network, the ability to share ideas. You get an awful lot from those aside conversations and the opportunity to hear what's going on. Well, this is a good opportunity for us all to, to sit down and, and, and agree where, we're, where are we as, a, uh, as an industry? Are we just standing around and just talking about these things or are we seeing improvements tangibly in the uh, uh, outside in the workplace? We're not talking necessarily in a commercial environment but we're talking in a professional environment where there's opportunity to discuss uh, issues that affect the whole industry in an in a open and collaborative way. The, the people in this room are, are probably representative of you know, some very large um, principal contractors who have a lot of power and influence in how this industry works. So I want to see a real shift in attitude towards preventing harm at source, to, you know, to everybody taking their responsibilities seriously within that supply chain um, in order to see that real uh, shift in change that we need. I think that we are making progress. For me, it's too slow. And I think part of the problem is bringing everyone along at the same speed and giving everyone the same information and the same advice because I think that is the way that we're going to make an inroad into the problems of health risks on construction sites. If you say to a young 18 year old, 19, 20, whatever year old, I need you to come in here, work 12 hour shifts, I want you on site at 6.30 for a seven o'clock start, you're gonna be finishing at seven o'clock at night, you're gonna do seven days, three days off, seven nights, four days off, where do you think they're gonna go? And you ain't going to come to construction. In my experience, having, having, having done this for a good on 15 years now, uh, I've seen nothing but steady improvement. There are a lot of areas that we, we do need to, uh, to act on, particularly with uh, uh, smaller industries, smaller contractors. Um, but, but we're certainly leading the way in terms of uh, uh, the larger contracts. It's great to get so many people together with the same mindset, looking to make a difference and the networking as well, sharing ideas, sharing innovation. As we leave here, what steps can we put in place to make sure that cost is allowed to protect long-term health? Because it's not just the here and now, is it? It's about years to come. 
So RBT have put on a brilliant event. They've fed us, they've watered us, they've looked after us. Um, and yeah, just providing us all that opportunity to come together, to, to debate the issues, to, to share like-minded um, like experiences. We've also had lots of interactive sessions with people marching on the spot, um, people trying to have conversations with earplugs in their ears. Um, and we've also had a post-it note session where people have been putting their ideas on a board. Um, so hopefully everybody's had a really engaging day. It's not about measuring writing a report and giving it in. It's about trying to change a culture because health is 20 years behind safety still. So we have to hit it from all angles. Thank you very much.